Hi everybody, it's Lace, and uh, this video is going to go over a little bit about deco and some of the little tips and tricks you can use. So I've got this table here that I want to decorate, and I kind of already planned out what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw a candle up here in the middle, and uh, remember with candles and other lighting things, I can double click it to turn it off, I can double click it to turn it on, uh, just depending on what you're going to do with it. Uh, decorating is pretty simple, you're just going to drag things from your inventory to place them. Um, let me just grab a couple plates here real quick. Maybe I didn't grab any plates. Oh, they're, I think they're called wooden plates. There we go. Wooden serving plate. I'm trying to do, just do a little buffet here. Maybe throw some things up there. Uh, most of it's just going to be to your taste of how you want to do it. Now, see, I've got this big plate of ribs. You can see how it's going kind of red because it's not going to fit there. If I hit the control key and control Q, it rotates it, rotates it some more, and now it's going to go there. So that's kind of like a quick rotate. Um, if you want to go back the other direction, control E, spins it that way, and uh, now it's going to fit and turn green. So when it turns green, obviously, you can put something there. Um, if I want to put things on a plate and stuff, I can grab, I think an onion should go on there, yeah. But now when I move the plate, the onion moves with it. So when you're doing things like uh, bookcases and stuff, that's very handy that if, you know, the bookcase wasn't placed exactly perfectly correct, um, it would move with it. Also, like this whole table here, I can move this whole table. Whoops, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I can't see. But anyway, yeah, you can put things on top of things and be able to move them with the item that's on it. Um, going back, looks like that onion slid a little bit. Let's get it back to the center. There we go. So now my onion's moving. Oh, there we go. Now the table moved. <laughs> See, I can make that little mistake. Now, if you ever move something like this, let's say um, I started moving it this way, and I went, oh, man, I wanted it right where it was. If you move it to where it's red and let go of the left-click mouse, it'll go back to where it's at. So if you accidentally move something, try to move it to a red spot, and it'll go right back to where it was in case you messed up. Uh, one of the other things that uh, you can do is uh, for books, I've got some books down here. Let me run down here. Look at these bookshelves. Um, you can see how some of the books are standing up and some are laying flat. If I grab a book and I'm going to hit the R key, that stands it up. If I hit the R key again, that lays it flat. Um, and then, of course, for rotating things, if I pick this book up and I hit the Q key just by itself, it's kind of rotating counterclockwise. If I hit the E key, it's rotating to the right. And then again, I can lay it down. So <clears throat> with books, I've seen some amazing things where people have made like a wall of books and made like a mosaic from books and, and things like that. Me, I kind of like to just, I like to show the covers of the books when I'm doing bookcases. So you're not going to see me, um, oops, kind of stuck there. You're not going to see me um, stacking them all across because, well, books go into your item count and uh, you could use a lot of books very quickly just filling a bookshelf if you had them just stacked end to end uh, like you see in uh, the vendors and stuff in the stores where you can steal all the books. So I kind of like to just, you know, mix and match and show the different co covers and then just kind of do an organic flow. But that's just me, you know, up to you what, how you want to decorate. So when you actually move an item, you're going to see this, my bar at the bottom, go like that. And if I hit this, this pins it. And this gives me a lot of information. It shows me how many more interior lights I can place, how many more containers I can place inside, and how many more items exactly I can place. So I'm at 571. Well, you can bet there's like 100 something books in there that, you know, tick that item count up, like I was saying. Outside, you also have limits. So your inside and outside are different. If you have a basement, the basement itself has its own limit. So you've got what you can decorate in your house, what you can put on the lot that's outside of the house, and then what you can put inside of a basement. It's a completely, you know, different count depending on the size of the basement. And all these things are based on uh, the size of the house. So, you know, a row lot's going to have a smaller number than this. Um, a Lord of the Manor is going to have more than this. And then down here, we've got how many NPCs you can place. Uh, 
and that's for the whole lot inside and outside um, I don't know if the basement count on that separate but this is your NPC count is inside and outside it's not broken up between the two uh, and NPCs would be like your vendors they would be uh, like pets like dogs or anything like that um, so that's how that count goes So you see how this uh, house has a natural border. I want to show you how you can uh, kind of do your own borders. There's a few pieces of, this one's not exactly the one that I'd want to use, but it'll work for just showing a demo. Depending on the painting that you have, you can make borders by putting them close together. Uh, there's one particular one I like to use a lot, but uh, yeah, this guy's not the best but anyway just to demonstrate this by taking paintings and lining them side by side especially ones without frames which is like this one and the one that I use you can make a border so just a little tip to point out one other tip is going to involve stacking and uh, I don't know why I just I love to stack the pumpkins they're very stackable you can do all kinds of stuff with the pumpkins oops get in there so I'm just gonna hit that and so there you go uh, and you can build I believe it's gonna be about five high so if it's around Halloween time or something you could go out get you a lot of pumpkins and uh, do all kinds of crazy uh, borders and stuff with them also things like uh, red cloth bolts people use these to um, maybe line stuff to create a pathway they'll also do a mosaic with them but uh, they do stack as well I don't know if I have any spools on me right now, but the spools will no no spools, sorry. But the spools of thread, they're you know a long a long rod. Those will stack, and you can make pyramids out of them. You know, it's just a little gives a little bit different texture when you're doing things. Maybe the salami will work. Let's see. I've never tried to stack salami. No, nope, doesn't look like you can stack salami. Well, there you go. Now we learned that. Now one thing I have done with stacking is, is pretend I had a, a, a water lot out here and there was, um, you know, maybe one of the ships or something. Um, those ships sit off the land and what I've done is I've used the, the crates that you can get. I don't think I have any crates in here. I might have some barrels, but there's uh, there's square crates and you can put those in the water and stack them underneath the water and then use like a large gothic table on top of them and you can actually build a platform around your water lot uh, I don't have one of those built to demonstrate that but it can be done relatively cheaply you can buy sets of granite of, of there's dark stone blocks you can make the granite blocks if you've gone out and harvested a lot of granite you can make all the same pieces and this is probably a poor example of stacking but I just wanted to show it real quickly about how I've got these things lined up and it's for a specific purpose it may not look like it right now but <laughs> uh, it, it is built to a certain specification um, the things that people have built out of all these blocks are absolutely amazing and I'm gonna go show you one right now so here I am in uh, Radio City and here's an example of stacking <laughs> If you had this many radios going, I'm pretty sure your neighbors are going to complain. But anyway, it's a, it's a marvelous example of stacking and the creativity involved in that. So that's going to be just my little quick overview on some of the commands for moving furniture around and, and stuff like that and decorating. Uh, one of the things I'd really like to see eventually is on the forms, especially as we're getting into persistences. I'd love to see a, a forum area where people show the things that they've created and decorated. Um, that'd be great. Maybe feedback that. Uh, I know some other games have done it where, you know, people show this is the area I created, the space I've created, and kind of how I did it and what things I used and stuff like that. Um, anyway, hope and dream. I like to kind of see the same thing in the form of uh, fashion. You know, here's my outfit that I put together using this piece, this piece, this piece, dyed this way, and and this is how awesome it looks or something. Uh, but let me sign off and uh, take care, everybody. Happy hunting and be safe.